are you doing? Why are you sitting there like a bump on a log? I'm not doing anything, Theo. I can see that. Why not? Well, because I was just... I bet you haven't fed the chickens yet, have you? Well, no, but that's because... And what about the stockings you started knitting two days ago? I bet they're not finished yet. Well, not yet, but... <laughs> I knew it. Denise, it's already seven o'clock in the morning. What have you been doing all day? Daydreaming? That's not going to cut it around here. And stop looking so down in the dumps. It's making me depressed. <laughs> niece, and he asked me to look after her when he left for Paris. But she's not making it easy for me. Two weeks ago, I saw her mail a letter. It must have been to Grovin, the town playboy. I saw him dance with her all night at the town festival. When she came home, I was furious. I made her cry. I still haven't figured out how to resist her tears, but I put that aside and I told her I knew she wrote to Gravatt. Can you believe she denied it? She still won't admit it. What was she doing writing to a man like Gravatt anyway? He's a buffoon. He's always just hanging around. He doesn't have a job. There are plenty of nice guys around. I'm sure she could find one if she looked hard enough. Anyway. I just don't want to see her unhappy because she's a nice girl and she tells the most wonderful stories and has the most beautiful way of braiding her hair. And she... Anyway, let's make sure she's doing what I asked her to. So, what were you saying? Ooh. I was saying that I want to become a rich housewife. Oh, me too. If I could find a rich husband, it would make up for the last one I had. I thought you liked him. Yes, but he was only a peasant. Believe me, my dear, never married anyone but a rich man. If only a rich lover wanted me. Well, it's not lovers that we lack. No. It's money that our lovers are lacking. <laughs> oh, and then there's that buffoon, Theo. Matter that Scott, son. I'm sure he's in love with me. Really? I honestly think it's me. The other day at the well, he greeted me with a punch to 
the back so hard I dropped my water. I think he was trying to flirt with me. <gasps> well, the other night at the town assembly, I was going to sit down. And he pulled my chair out from under me, but I fell on the floor. He. Uh, what am I saying? If you want him, you can have him. No, not at all. Take him. My gift to you. What would I do with him? He doesn't have any money. Yes, that's why I offered him to you. Oh! Besides, he's, he's too sweet. I wouldn't have any fun nagging him. Oh! He isn't anything like my handsome first husband. <laughs> Too? 
I hope he didn't write to him about what I wrote about. Oh, God, help me. <laughs> certainly are curious. <laughs> My amazing godfather, a treasure! Let's toast to his health. Then he splashes. <laughs> Oh, 